Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video in Tinkercad. In the last video we took a look at an ultrasonic sensor and that acts as an input device. It receives feedback as in the form of measuring distance and it sends that information as a voltage into the Arduino board. Today we're going to take a look at a photoresistor and how a photoresistor works. Basically all a photoresistor does is it is a resistor and it looks like this here but the way it works is it actually changes in resistance depending upon how much light is striking it. So we could use it to activate maybe a, a tent on a window we could use it to activate maybe a set of curtains or a set of blinds. Any situation where we have a change in the amount of light, um, we could use a photoresistor. The way that I suggest that you hook this up is we have a photoresistor in Tinkercad here. And what I've done is I've put it in series with a 1K ohm resistor. So right here, notice these two are in series. And what I've done is on one side of the photoresistor over here, I've connected this to 5 volts. Then on the other side of the 1K ohm resistor, I've connected this to ground. So really, I've got two resistors in series. And then what I've done is I've taken the signal wire, the one in green that runs to A0, and then I've connected it in between the photoresistor and the 1K ohm resistor. And if you remember from previous videos, what this is, is a voltage divider. As we run this circuit here, 5 volts is going to go across these two devices in series. That means some of the voltage will be dropped across the photoresistor and some will be going across the 1K ohm resistor. According to Kirchhoff's voltage law, that should add up to 5 volts. Maybe 2 volts goes across here, then 3 volts will drop across here. If this is 1 volt dropping across the photoresistor, that means there must be 4 volts dropping across the 1K ohm resistor. It must follow Kirchhoff's voltage law. To show that voltage, what I've done is I've taken a multimeter and put it in volt mode and I've connected it here across the photoresistor just so as this is running you can see what the voltage change is. In terms of the code what I've done is I've created a variable called input. Input is going to store that voltage or the value coming in through a zero and it's going to hold that we're going to use the set input block here. We're going to drag this in here and then I'm going to put the input variable here. What I'm doing is I'm setting input to read analog pin A0. Then just so you can see what the Arduino sees as we use this circuit is we're going to print the input to the serial monitor and as we change the amount of light striking we should see a change down here in the serial monitor. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to start the simulator and right away we see that the drop across the photoresistor is 4.97 volts. So almost all the voltage is going across the photoresistor. Basically none is going across the 1K ohm resistor. If I click on the photoresistor, the way this works in a virtual world in Tinkercad is I can change the amount of light striking the photoresistor just by using the slider tool and I can slide my mouse over and change the amount of light. And the way it works is as I go to the right it becomes brighter on the photoresistor. And as we do that if I click and slide it over you're going to see the voltage is actually going down. What that means is the resistance is actually going down on the photoresistor. As the resistance goes down, the voltage drop goes down. That means more drop is going to go across the 1K ohm resistor. Now, if I go all the way to the right here, notice that I get to about 1.68 volts, and then it stops. And if I slide it back 
and come back again still I only get to 1.68 volts why is that well remember this is a voltage divider some of the drop will go across the 1k ohm resistor down here some of it will go across the photo resistor so the way this circuit works because I've chosen a 1k ohm resistor a certain amount of voltage drop will go across the photoresistor a certain amount will go across the 1k ohm resistor remembering that they will always add up to 5 volts according to Kirchhoff's voltage law what I do want you to watch here is as I move this back and forth is the serial monitor and you can see that as I change the amount of light striking the photoresistor I'm seeing a different value in the serial monitor and you can see the range that we're getting the smallest value that I get here is 6 and that's just the way the circuit's set up Tinkercad does take into account for various resistances and so on so it doesn't go all the way to 0 it goes down to 6 and if I move it all the way to the right it does take me up to 679 why is it 679 well remember it only gets to 1.68 volts it doesn't go all the way down to zero if it did this would show us 1023 but since it only goes down to 1.68 then the smallest value that we're gonna get here is 679 I suggest you build this circuit play with it and I would change this resistor here change it to different values and then start the simulator and play with the circuit and see what you get remember that the voltage drop across each of these should always add up to 5 volts but this voltage drop across the photoresistor will vary depending upon what this resistor value is here that's it for this video I hope it was useful take care we'll see you next time